Hello, Lego lovers. This is Elle, and this is a Lego Disney Princess set review. This is Ariel's Celebration Boat, set number 43191, and it has only about 114 pieces, and it retails at least around $30 in the U.S. And I did do a parts review on this video, um, which I was kind of overly critical, or maybe not. Um, where I kind of felt that it was a little lacking for the cost of it. Um, but now I have it all built up, and I'm going to review it. And if you want to see more of my videos, I would super appreciate you subscribing. And maybe that's a little whiny, but I know a lot of people ask to subscribe. But let's get into the review and ignore that part. So first of all, we have our aerial figure, which from a distance looks wonderful. Um, I love the metallic look on it. I love that kind of lining. Um, up close a little bit, though, and maybe in your hands, the color of the middle torso part is a little bit off, and that's just because of how they print. Um, printing the white over kind of a darker type color makes it not come out as well, I would say. But I do like our face. Um, it is a little bit more of a different type of face. Um, unfortunately, no printing on the back at all, which is rather unfortunate. And then, I always forget his name, but here he is. And that is actually a pretty nice print on the torso there. Nothing too special, though. Um, just an overall nice type of figure. Um, and then you can see on the back, there's really nothing going on, but just overall a very nice male figure for a mini doll. And then we have our doggy friend, which he probably has a name, but I don't remember. A nice print on the face, a little bit of print on his ears, kind of a floppy hair all over there. Just a cute little dog. And we have some other like little accessories. We have our gold trident. We have extra parts, basically, a gold spear. We have a diamond and one of those, like, Lord of the Ring type ring parts, which you can kind of barely see there. Um, and you obviously are getting extras, so you get some extras. We also have this really tiny kind of lame side build of two goblets on just a brick. Kind of really weak. Another small side build is this kind of mirror with brush. And my problem with this is it sits on the ground. That's all it is. Well, how is she going to use it? So unfortunately, you have to find somewhere to put it so you can actually like look at it, which is a little unfortunate. I mean, they could have just put like a couple extra bricks and a plate under it. Um, but that is a print, so it's kind of neat there. It doesn't actually reflect like a mirror. This other part here we have is, I almost want to say like a kissing booth, but it is a dancing type little area off of what you could say would be like a dock. Just something kind of romantic. Um, you have a wonderful print, actually. I really like that print. Very crisp and nicely printed there. Um, and then you have this little arch, and like you can see that spins, and you could put the characters on there. I believe they both should fit on there as they just kind of explode everything everywhere. Get them on there, okay. And then you can spin them around like that and they can dance. Um, kind of cute, kind of neat. Uh, I've played around with it a little bit and yeah, it's actually kind of cool, nice fluid motion on there. And if you wanna get insane, you can really go crazy with it. And they're probably sick now. But just a cool little feature, if you have a kid, that's something that they could play with. Um, and this is actually kind of, you know, you could pose them where they're kind of more next to each other and looking out. His hair is kind of disheveled. but um, And you could have just kind of a nice pictured type look there, which is kind of nice. And our other smaller side build comes with a chest that kind of just sits on the back, which is a little weak. And in there we have... More of the same things I showed before. And this side build actually is kind of cute. Basically the band playing. And we got some representation of seaweed. Which actually looks pretty nice. 
We got Sebastian on the keyboards here that are floating in the water. And we have Flounder playing a sax, a phone, and he can spin there too, which probably is just him being annoyed by someone spinning around him to make him sick, which is kind of just a cute little feature. But maybe he's dancing too, going crazy. You know, again, you can really try to get it and it does stay on, which is pretty cool. But kind of looking closer, those are prints on here. Our Sebastian only has his eyes printed and he just kind of sits on one stud and our flounder sits on one stud too, but fairly nice coloring and printing for just his eyes, but pretty nice. And I do like how it's like virtually perfect how the saxophone fits in there and he can actually blow on it. It's very perfectly set up. So I actually kind of really like that little band scene on the side, which seems a little silly, but the main build mostly here is the boat and obviously this is a junior set so you shouldn't expect highly detailed intricate models but this is a boat hull and i believe this one is supposed to float i may do a video of me trying to show that somehow does it float and kind of experiment with it because i have honestly never done that with any sort of lego boat so maybe that's something to play around with but to the actual boat we have on each side this kind of emblem, which is a printed piece, which looks really nice. I do love the printed pieces in this set. Then we kind of just have some ornamentation up front here for the boat. You can have figures standing there if you so want. Um, we have a steering wheel to represent, you know, steering it. Flags kind of flowing off, which look kind of nice. Um, I think this can come off fairly easily. Yep. And if you wanted to put stuff in there or characters or whatever, you could. And then you just pop that back on and they would be in there. So if you wanted Air Ariel to stow away underneath the boat, you could do that if you want. And she's just laying under there, which is a little awkward. And that thing keeps hitting my hand. But I will say one thing. This is a pink boat. And I love pink, so I cannot complain too much about the fact that this is pink. In fact, I like it. It's fairly interesting because this is aqua color up here too on the top of the boat. And I kind of like the boat. It's really simple, obviously, but it's it's just kind of cute and nice. And it's simply built, and it just looks really nice. Um, I don't know if it floats right now. but So what are my overall thoughts on this set after kind of going through everything? Um, I will say that I am a little bit happier of it after having done the parts review and I was kind of down on it because for $30 it looks a little bit more substantial and I kind of feel like it it looks fairly nice you know we get two three kind of animal figures we get two good printed mini dolls we get three builds two kind of smaller and then our main build and then a couple like mini builds you could say so all in all, there's quite a bit here. I do feel it's still a little expensive for $30, maybe $20 or $25 comparing to like a friend set. I think $25 would be pretty good. Um, but to be honest, for $30, I don't think this is too bad. Um, the prints are fantastic in here. I'm always kind of surprised at the quality of these prints. But yeah, that's pretty much it for this little 4 plus type set review. Um, if you want to leave a comment telling me to do a float test, if I get some of them, I will try to do that. <laughs> we'll see how that goes. But thank you for watching the video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Hopefully you got something out of it. Maybe you can enjoy this set at home or on display. But thank you for watching and hopefully you'll check out more of my videos.